a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Nero Nero was the last Roman emperor of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. He was adopted by his great-uncle Claudius and became Claudius' heir and successor. Like Claudius, Nero became emperor with the consent of the Praetorian Guard. Nero's mother, Agrippina the Younger, was likely implicated in Claudius' death and Nero's nomination as emperor. She dominated Nero's early life and decisions until he cast her off. Five years into his reign, he had her murdered. During the early years of his reign, Nero was content to be guided by his mother, his tutor Lucius Onius Seneca and his Praetorian prefect, Sextus Afranius Burrus. As time passed, he started to play a more active and independent role in government and foreign policy. During his reign, the redoubtable general Corbulo conducted a successful war and negotiated peace with the Parthian Empire. His general Suetonius Paulinus crushed a major revolt in Britain, led by the Iceni queen Boadicea. The Bosporan kingdom was briefly annexed to the empire, and the first Jewish-Roman war began. Nero focused much of his attention on diplomacy, trade, and the cultural life of the empire, ordering theatres built and promoting athletic games. He made public appearances as an actor, poet, musician, and charioteer. In the eyes of traditionalists, this undermined the dignity and authority of his person, status, and office. His extravagant, empire-wide program of public and private works was funded by a rise in taxes that was much resented by the middle and upper classes. Various plots against his life were revealed. The ringleaders, most of them Nero's own courtiers, were executed. In 68 AD Vindex, governor of the Gaulish territory Gallia Lusdanensis, rebelled. He was supported by Galba, the governor of Hispania Tarraconensis. Vindex's revolt failed in its immediate aim, but Nero fled Rome when Rome's discontented civil and military authorities chose Galba as emperor. He committed suicide on June 9, 68 AD, when he learned that he had been tried in absentia and condemned to death as a public enemy, making him the first Roman emperor to commit suicide. His death ended the Julio-Claudian dynasty sparking a brief period of civil wars known as the Year of the Four Emperors. Nero's rule is usually associated with tyranny and extravagance. Most Roman sources, such as Suetonius and Cassius Dio, offer overwhelmingly negative assessments of his personality and reign. Tacitus claims that the Roman people thought him compulsive and corrupt. Many Romans believed that the Great Fire of Rome was instigated by Nero. To clear the way for his planned palatial complex, the Domus Aurea, he was said to have seized Christians as scapegoats for the fire and burned them alive, seemingly motivated not by public justice, but by personal cruelty. Some modern historians questioned the reliability of the ancient sources on Nero's tyrannical acts. A few sources paint Nero in a more favorable light. There is evidence of his popularity among the Roman commoners, especially in the eastern provinces of the empire where a popular legend arose that Nero had not died and would return. At least three leaders of short-lived, failed rebellions presented themselves as Nero reborn to enlist popular support. Early Life Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus, Nero, was born on 15 December 37 in Antium. He was the only son of Gnaeus Domitius Ahenobarbus, an Agrippina the Younger. His maternal grandparents were Germanicus and Agrippina the Elder. His mother was Caligula's sister. He was Augustus' great-great-grandson, descended from the first emperor's only daughter Julia. The ancient biographer Suetonius was critical of Nero's ancestors. He wrote that Augustus had reproached Nero's grandfather for his unseemly enjoyment of violent gladiator games. Nero's father was said to be irascible and brutal. According to Jürgen Melitz, Suetonius wrote that both enjoyed chariot races and theatre performances to a degree not befitting their position. Nero's father, Domitius, died in 40. A few years before his death, Domitius had been involved in a political scandal that, according to Melitz, could have cost him his life if Tiberius had not died in the year 37. In the previous year, 39, Nero's mother Agrippina had been caught up in a scandal of her own. Caligula's beloved sister Drusilla had recently died and Caligula began to feel threatened by his brother-in-law Marcus Aemilius Lepidus. 
Agrippinid was suspected of adultery with her brother-in-law and was forced to carry the funerary urn after Lepidus' execution. Caligula then banished his two surviving sisters, Agrippina and Julia Livilla, to a remote island in the Mediterranean Sea. According to the Oxford Encyclopedia of Ancient Greece and Rome, Agrippina was exiled for plotting to overthrow Caligula. Nero's inheritance was taken from him and he was sent to live with his paternal aunt Domitia Lepida, who was the mother of Claudia's third wife Valeria Messalina. Caligula's short train lasted from 37 until 41. He died from multiple stab wounds in January of 41 after being ambushed by his own praetorian guard on the Palatine Hill. Claudius succeeded Caligula as emperor. Agrippina married Claudius in 49 and became his fourth wife. By February 49, she had persuaded Claudius to adopt her son Nero. After Nero's adoption, Claudius became part of his name. Nero Claudius Caesar Drusus Germanicus. Claudius had gold coins issued to mark the adoption. Classics professor Josiah Osgood has written that, the coins, through their distribution and imagery alike, showed that a new leader was in the making. David Schotter noted that, despite events in Rome, Nero's stepbrother Britannicus was more prominent in provincial coinages during the early 50s. Nero officially formally entered public life as an adult in 51 he was around 14 years old. When he turned 16, Nero married Claudius' daughter, Claudia Octavia. Between the years 51 and 53, he gave several speeches on behalf of various communities including the Ilians, the Apamines, requesting a five-year tax reprieve after an earthquake and the northern colony of Bologna, after their settlement suffered a devastating fire. Claudius died in 54. Many ancient historians claim that he was poisoned by Agrippina. Schotter has written that, Claudius' death in 54 has usually been regarded as an event hastened by Agrippina, because of signs that Claudius was showing a renewed affection for his natural son, but he notes that among ancient sources Josephus was uniquely reserved in describing the poisoning as a rumor. Contemporary sources differ in their accounts. Tacitus says the locusta prepared the poison, which was served to the emperor, by his food taster Halitus. Tacitus also writes that Agrippina arranged for Claudius Dr. Xenophon to administer poison, in the event that the emperor survived. Suetonius differs in some details, but also implicates Halitus and Agrippina. Like Tacitus, Cassius Dio writes that the poison was prepared by Locusta, but in Dio's account it is administered by Agrippina instead of Halitus. In Apoclocentosis, Seneca the Younger does not mention mushrooms at all. Agrippina's involvement in Claudius' death is not accepted by all modern scholars. Before Claudius' death, Agrippina had maneuvered to remove Britannicus' tutors and replace them with tutors she had selected. She was also able to convince Claudius to replace with a single commander, Burrus, two prefects of the Praetorian Guard who were suspected of supporting Britannicus. Since Agrippina had replaced the guard officers with men loyal to her, Nero was able to assume power without incident. Nero's reign 54 AD 68 AD Most of what we know about Nero's reign comes from three ancient writers, Tacitus, Suetonius, and Greek historian Cassius Dio. According to ancient historians, Nero's construction projects were overly extravagant and the large number of expenditures under Nero left Italy, thoroughly exhausted by contributions of money, with the provinces ruined. Modern historians, though, note that the period was riddled with deflation and that it is likely that Nero's spending came in the form of public works projects and charity intended to ease economic troubles. Early reign Nero was 16 years old when he became emperor in 54. This made him the youngest sole emperor until Elagabalus, who became emperor aged 14 in 218. The first five years of Nero's reign were described as quinquennium Nerones by Trajan. The interpretation of the phrase is a matter of dispute amongst scholars. Nero's tutor, Seneca, prepared Nero's first speech before the Senate. During this speech, Nero spoke about eliminating the ills of the previous regime. H. H. Scullard writes that, he promised to follow the Augustine model in his Principate, to end all secret trials in Trucubiculum, to have done with the corruption of court favorites and freedmen, and above all to respect the privileges of the Senate and individual senators. His respect of the senatorial autonomy 
which distinguished him from Caligula and Claudius, was generally well received by the Roman Senate. Scullard writes that Nero's mother, Agrippina, meant to rule through her son. Agrippina murdered her political rivals, Domitian Lepida, the aunt that Nero had lived with during Agrippina's exile. Marcus Unius Silanus, a great-grandson of Augustus, and Narcissus. One of the earliest coins that Nero issues during his reign shows Agrippina on the coin's obverse side. Usually, this would be reserved for a portrait of the emperor. The Senate also allowed Agrippina two lictors during public appearances, an honor that was customarily bestowed upon only magistrates, and the Vestalis Maxima. In 55, Nero removed Agrippina's ally Marcus Antonius Pallas from his position in the treasury. Schotter writes the following about Agrippina's deteriorating relationship with Nero, what Seneca and Burrus probably saw as relatively harmless in Nero his cultural pursuits and his affair with the slave girl act were, to her signs of her son's dangerous emancipation of himself from her influence. Britannicus was poisoned after Agrippina threatened to side with him. Nero who was having an affair with Act, exiled Agrippina from the palace when she began to cultivate a relationship with his wife Octavia. Jürgen Malitz writes that ancient sources do not provide any clear evidence to evaluate the extent of Nero's personal involvement in politics during the first years of his reign. He describes the policies that are explicitly attributed to Nero as well-meant but incompetent notions, like Nero's failed initiative to abolish taxes in 58. Scholars generally credit Nero's advisers Burrus and Seneca with the administrative successes of these years. Millet writes that in later years, Nero panicked when he had to make decisions on his own during times of crisis. Matricide The Oxford Encyclopedia of Ancient Greece and Rome cautiously notes that Nero's reasons for killing his mother in 59 are not fully understood. According to Tacitus, the source of conflict between Nero and his mother was Nero's affair with Pope Pius Abena. In histories Tacitus writes that the affair began while Pope Pius was still married to Rufrius Crispinus. But in his later work Annals Tacitus says Pope Pius was married to Otho when the affair began. In Annals Tacitus writes that Agrippina opposed Nero's affair with Pope Pius because of her affection for his wife Octavia. Antony Barrett writes that Tacitus' account in Annals suggests that Poppius challenge drove Nero, over the brink, a number of modern historians have noted that Agrippina's death would not have offered much advantage for Popeye. As Nero did not marry Popeye until 62, Barrett writes that Popeye seems to serve as a literary device, utilized by Tacitus, because he could see no plausible explanation for Nero's conduct and also incidentally served to show that Nero, like Claudius, had fallen under the malign influence of a woman. According to Suetonius, Nero had his former freedman Anicetus arrange a shipwreck. Agrippina survived the wreck, swam ashore and was executed by Anicetus, who reported her death as a suicide. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?